often people wonder how to pass a knot in a pulley system. There's many ways to do it. This is a way that we do it using the gear that we carry on the river. If I'm pulling on this 3 to 1 mechanical advantage system I'm, and I get to the knot, what I need to do now is put all the load on the Prusik. Now I'm going to take this apart. And I'm going to rebuild the 3 to 1, but this time using the end of the rope. I'm going to clip here. I'm going to come back here with a change in direction. And I'm not going to lock this carabiner yet. Grab the next pulley. Come back here. And right now I have a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage system. I'm going to have to build a progress capture device. So for that, I'm going to use a Munter hitch, which I'm going to put in this carabiner. And now I'm going to lock it. I'm not going to pull from this rope. I'm going to pull from here. And I'm going to pull enough until I know that I have enough slack to transfer the pulley and the Prusik in the other side of the knot. Once I know I have enough, I can capture all the progress with my Munter hitch. I'm going to build a Munter mule. I'm going to back up the Munter mule. And now, what I need to do is switch the pulley and the Prusik to the other side of the knot. Once I do this, I make sure the Prusik is dressed properly. This is a three wrap Prusik, but you can use a different one if you want. Okay, now that I managed to go around the knot, I need to transfer the load from the Munter hitch to the progress capture device again. So I'm going to take it some slack. I'm going to untie this. And slowly, I'm going to transfer the load again into the Prusik. To finish it off, I'm going to rebuild again my original 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. So for this, I just need to put this pulley here. The change on direction. And now we can keep on pulling.